Hi guys, welcome to Man United Gun, United's number one fan channel. Now, in this video, I'm going to do all as possible starting 11, that is against Fulham. Remember, Manchester United are playing Fulham tomorrow at Old Trafford. And also, I'm going to talk about a few transfer stories that have come out. Then I will uh, conclude the video with uh, my prediction scores. But before I do that, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Also like, comment and share the video. And most of all, don't forget to turn on the notification bell because that is the only way you will know if a new content is out. Now let us go back to Ole's possible starting 11. And again, before I talk about possible starting 11, let me just start with the transfer stories. So apparently I'm going to talk about one matter, Jesse Lingard and another player that Manchester United has been linked uh, to and uh, that is uh, Nuno Mendes from Sporting Lisbon. So Nuno Mendes uh, is a very good player, 18 years old uh, of age and also is a left, uh, a left back. So you see that uh, he has uh, been so good this season for Sporting Lisbon. I think he has made 44 uh, appearances in all competitions and uh, his playing is very, very good. And so Manchester United have been looking at this player. And also Manchester City are in the race. Remember Manchester City, they have a player uh, currently on loan uh, for, or, uh, on Sporting Lisbon and uh, therefore they believe also they can do a deal by uh, giving Lisbon the player and also adding a few amount. So this is a story that uh, we will continue to follow and uh, look at it keenly then we, I will be updating you on what is going on. Then what about Jesse Lingard? Jesse Lingard, his future is not known because um, West Ham are very interested in signing Jesse Lingard. Even David Moyes himself came out and spoken. But there is a problem. Remember, Jesse Lingard's wages are too high and that can be a problem for West Ham to sustain uh, Jesse Lingard at the club. And again, uh, Moyes has also come out and uh, said that uh, uh, Jesse Lingard is Manchester United's player and so it is up to Manchester United to decide what they want to do with Jesse Lingard. So at this time we don't know what will happen to Jesse Lingard. His future is not known. What about Juan Mata? Juan Mata, Ole Gunnar himself has come out and spoken and said that uh, he's still talking to Juan Mata. So that means uh, Ole himself is also uncertain about uh, one matters future at Old Trafford. So he also said that uh, it will be uh, up to one matter to decide what is best for his career. So again this story I will be following it keenly then I will be updating you on it. But uh, let us now move to all as possible starting 11. Remember tomorrow Manchester United are playing uh, full harm at uh, Old Trafford at exactly 8 p.m. East African time so i want to do the possible starting 11 that i think ole is likely to send out so i'm going to start with the goalkeeper so remember we have two goalkeepers and dean anderson has been our goalkeeper uh, recently but uh, during that match against liverpool he did not do that well but i know ole is still going to believe in him so dean henderson will start at the goal. Then what about the right back? The right back, of course, you know, Aaron Wan Bissaka takes that position. Then the centre backs, we have uh, Bailey and uh, Lindelof currently. Maguire is injured, though, uh, so definitely uh, Maguire is not going to play. So the centre backs will be Lindelof and Eric Bailey. Then we move to the left back. Of course, we have Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw has been sensational. Uh, this season, so Luke Shaw takes the position of the left back. Then we move into the midfield. You know the formation that Ole likes to play is a 4-2-3-1 formation. 
and therefore he is going to play two defensive midfielders. So I believe that one defensive midfielder will be Paul Pogba and the other one will be Fred. So in the midfield is Fred and Paul Pogba. Then that number nine spot, of course, you know, Bruno Fernandes is the player. So Bruno Fernandes takes the number 10 spot. What about the right hand uh, side, the right wing? For the right wing, I think this time around Greenwood will come in. So Greenwood takes that position on the right. What about on the left? On the left, Marcus Rashford will start. Remember, Pogba has been starting in that position, but uh, now I have placed Paul Pogba back into the midfield. So uh, definitely Marcus Rashford will start on that side. Then the striker will be Edinson Cavani. Although there are speculations that uh, Martial and James uh, are, uh, can be available, so we will be seeing what will happen. But uh, for now, Edison Cavani remains our striker. So the team can change, but that is the possible starting 11 and the players that are fit currently that I think Ole is likely to go with. Then, uh, what is my prediction score? I think Manchester United are going to win. Remember, Manchester United have lost two consecutive games. They lost one against Leicester and uh, just the other day they lost another one against Liverpool. So this time round there is pressure and Manchester United must produce results. So I think they are going to win 2-0. Uh, Manchester United 2-0. So that is my prediction score. You can as well put your prediction score on the comment section. Then we can be able to chat together and reason out. But uh, for now, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. And please don't forget to support the channel by hitting that subscribe button. Also, like, comment and share. And most of all, turn the notification bell on. But for now, I want to say... Bye-bye.